And I got my first fish already. Here we go, folks. Hopefully a slab. No, it's a giant bluegill. Man, on a bomber crankbait. Huh. Wow. He's bigger than my hand. Nice bluegill nonetheless. Not the kind I'm after, but I'll take him. Nice surprise. I dropped him or I would have actually showed you guys a little more. I was going to hold it up. It was a good old seven incher probably. All right, folks, today is March the 3rd. It is officially crappie season. I'm try I'm here trying to get some pre-spawn slabs using jigs, crankbaits, and live minnows. The water is very, very high due to lots of rain we've had lately. I am actually had to wear full waders to be able to get out here. I had to wade across a very soggy, wet field with about six to eight inches of water in it. I'm actually having to stand on the bank. I use this, this strip, usually separates the two sides of the lake. And uh, as you can see, it's about six to eight inches underwater right here all the way across. So I'm having to stand in it just to be able to fish. second fish on don't know what it is yet it definitely don't feel like a bluegill but it could be I don't have a clue what this is I think it's a large mouth yeah not a bad one not big but not small he's probably no oh, 14 inches thir 13 inches about a pound and a half not a bad guy. And uh, the bass, when you're reeling it in, it's just real jump or bite very much. It's kind of like, felt like more like a flat end than a bass. Stayed down the whole time. Fish number two, and that's two different kinds so far. Bluegill and a largemouth. I got my third fish on. I think it's a pickerel, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's a giant slab. Exactly what I came after. This is a big old 14 incher. Oh, yes. I caught him on a swing impact swim bait that was originally four inches and I trimmed it down to two. Man, that's a nice crappie. Finally figured out what's working. It ended up being a little too muddy for minnows. And, uh, oh boy, that is a nice black crappie right there. He's 12 inches. It looked bigger from when I was reeling it in. Man, that is beautiful. Uh, the water's so clear that I'm using a, the swim bed I'm using is uh, kind of a transparent color with silver and white specks in it and a little bit of smoke on one side. That is a nice crappie. It finally paid off. I've been trying. He bit it a minute ago and I cast it right back over. What I don't understand is the first time he bit, it went all the way to the bottom and it picked it up. Yeah, it could have been a different fish, I guess. Oh boy, this thing, I couldn't even tell. It didn't even fight like a crappie at all. It didn't ever really fight much. It just kind of let me reel it in. Boy, that is a beaut. I tip these swim. I'm gonna start tipping this swim bait with minnows. That is a beauty. I'll show you guys the lure I'm using to catch these. Boy, he really engulfed this thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to have pliers, I think. No. Anyway, this is. It's called Swing Impact. 
forgot the name of the company that makes them. It's a paddle tail. It's kind of like a white of silver clear on one side and smoke on the other. And it's got pepper flakes in it or real dark blue. And it's originally four inches long, but I uh, trimmed it down to about two and a half because it was just too big for crappie. Anyway, I'll show this crappie to you guys. It's a nice crappie. It is March the 3rd. It's a male, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it since it ain't got eggs. Uh, I could definitely would be able to tell the difference between male and female right now. It would be a lot more girthy if that was a female. A nice crappie nonetheless. I'm going to get back out there in that water. See if I can get another one. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to tip my to a quarter ounce jig head because of the wind it wants to move faster this minnow will help it slow down but also me holding that rod tip a little higher than normal will help it out too as well I got fish number four here and it's another giant crappie. This one is 14, I think. Man, it's close. No, he's 12 just like the last one. It's a nice one though. Either way. And this one's a white. The last one was a black. This one's a white. Oh boy. What a beauty. Kind of plain looking and really thin. Obviously another male. Nice crappie nonetheless. Another 12 inch or white crappie still caught him on the same things last time, the swing and impact swim bait. Wow. I'm gonna go put him in the bucket. Oh. That's two nice crappie. I'm not catching a lot, but every one I catch is nice. I have minnows, but it's too windy to use minnows. So I'm just using lures. <coughs> Two crappies so far, one black and one white. One's 12 and the other one is 12. They're both 12. Even though I didn't measure them, I can just tell they're both 12. Check them out, man. Two 12 inchers. They're biting slow, though. I've only caught four. I got minnows if you want to use them. Caught my third crappie. It's uh, my second black crappie. And this one's small, he's only about seven inches. They're all in this, they all seem to be on this one end of the lake uh, where we have winds from the east today. And so they're all pushed up on this one bank. Doing, I'm using a heavy jig head considered heavy for crappie and anyway, four ounce but I'm holding my rod tip high to keep it at a slow retrieve and uh, finally figuring them out they're exactly about five feet down five to six feet down from the, from the top and they're in about eight feet of water Timers is that in the spring crappie will typically spawn on the west end of the lake and this is the west end so there might be some truth to that just keep that in mind or ask someone else if they've ever heard that or try it and experiment with it but it seems to be true today or at least they're staging up on the west end of the lake and that could have to do with the wind but it may not be Five and it seems like it's a slab from here. Oh yeah, it is. It's a nice one. Another 12. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it's about, no, it's not 12. It's, it's only about 
about nine. I was over yes I'm over again. It's another white crappie. Eight and a half actually. It's pretty small. Not big enough to keep. Biggest crappie I've ever caught in my life. It's dang close. On a bobber and minnow right before dark oh it's either no he's about 15 though it's a big crappie it's a two pounder my god he's barely hooked come here come here oh yeah he might go 16 actually oh yeah oh yeah oh my gosh folks now that's a crappie right there oh yeah time to go get the measuring tape and a new minnow, my goodness. I only got my minnow, a minnow and a, a foot and a half deep. And uh, fishing a beaver dam right here. My God, it's a monster. Wow. Could be a personal best and it might not. It's hard to say. It's dang close though. My biggest is 16 inches to this day and that was three years ago and I, I just keep trying and trying to get that 17 incher and I just can't seem to do it. But I tell you what, I'm going to. I'm going to do it here at this place. There are some monsters in here. He is only 14 and 3 quarters. Almost 15. Well, it's alright. I'm happy with him. That's a nice crappie right there. Folks, it finally paid off. I had about two slow hours where I really didn't catch anything and I thought minnows weren't working I really didn't have much faith in minnows um, almost all the fish I caught were on the uh, swim bait except for one which was the bluegill and uh, I finally said you know what I wasted money on these minnows I might as well use them and it paid off a nice crappie 14 and three quarters wow now that's what I'm talking about right there that is a big crappie let's see if I can get I got about a half an hour left let's see if I can get two more or at least one more wow all right folks Put her in the bucket and get me a fresh minnow. Let's do this again. I knew they'd be hanging out in that brush pile. And sure enough, they were. That's so awesome. One of the biggest mistakes people make when crappie fishing is they don't start till April when it's almost over. The biggest crappie are the fattest and the biggest you'll ever catch them in February and in March because they're more girthier and they weigh more. If you wait till they spawn already, they get thinned out. They lose a lot of weight. So your best chance to get a crappie of a lifetime is early March and late February for that reason. Because they have a lot of weight they've packed on because they're getting ready to spawn. You can also catch a lot of big ones in the fall around Halloween and early November, depending on where you live. Um, but they tend to be a little thinner. Oh yeah, another slabber. Nice one. 12. 11, 12. I got them figured out. They're biting right before dark. Oh, yeah. Not a bad guy. This one's a black. I love how this lake is a, it's about a 50 50 mix of white and black. I like that because I get kind of tired of catching the same kind over and over. Right in the top of the mouth, folks. Sacalay. Southeast Missouri crappie. It's about nine inches. It's not bad. Yeah.
yes it is it's another slab folks i'm on fire now every one of them's decent that's another 12. wow and it's a white oh, that's about an 11. still all the keepers So don't ever give up. I had three, actually two, at least two to three slow hours in there where I felt like leaving, but I knew in my heart that I needed to stay and tough it out. And that's the way crappie are sometimes. You can be doing nothing. And uh, especially in midday like that. I, I did catch a few during the midday, middle of the day, but you need to stay until you can't see anymore because you may not get any for several hours and then boom, you can catch 10 of them in, in 20 minutes. You just don't know. And if you would have went home, it would have never happened. So never leave just because they're not biting. Big mistake. Let's see if I can get another one. And another one, folks, another slab right before I was about to walk away something told me one more cast one more cast this is another 13 or 14 inch right here he's 13 yes sir oh yeah yeah right in the mouth top of the mouth 13 inches white crappie my goodness actually that yeah it's white and it is time to go. My hands are freezing from touching the minnow water. I got me seven good slabs in the bucket. Say, it's been a good day, folks. That ends this session. I may come back tomorrow for some more. Maybe we can get some bigger ones. 